Good morning, everyone. I mean, good afternoon. Today, I'm going to be presenting to you the comparison between audiovisual and web based presentation. We will proceed by defining these two. We will start with the audiovisual. What is audiovisual presentation? Audiovisual presentation refers to works with both a sound and a visual component. The production or use of such works, or the equipment used to create and present such works. Audiovisual presentation is an electronic media possessing both a sound and a visual component, such as slide tape presentation. It is typically in the form of slides, video, recorded speech, or music. As you can see in the screen, this logo is familiar to all of us. This software is commonly used to create an audiovisual presentation. This is called Microsoft PowerPoint. Audiovisual presentations are usually done through LCD film projector, television, computer, and or virtual classroom. Let's proceed to the web-based presentation. A web-based presentation is a presentation that is delivered using a browser. Slides are only the beginning of many web-based presentations. Audio, video, documents, and websites can all be combined into a single interactive presentation viewer. Now, I'm showing you some examples of softwares that we can use to create web-based presentation. First, we have Slide Rocket. Second, we have Google Slides. And third, we have Prezi. These softwares are useful in making a web-based presentation. Now, let's proceed to the, to the similarities between the two presentations. Let's, let's see what are those. Similarities. First, convey an information in a way that has an impact. Second, impress the listeners and audience. Third, it is adaptable to a variety of platforms. Four. Designed for audience involvement. Fifth, you can easily share it online. Sixth, it is interactive. Seventh, needs variety of page and layouts to maintain your audience's interest. Eighth, provides opportunities for effective communication between teacher and students in learning. Nine, Scaffolding slides to orient your audience and keep them engaged. 10. Facilitates and enhances the teaching and learning process. So these are the similarities between audiovisual and web page, web-based presentation. Now let's proceed to their differences. Let's see what are the differences between the two presentations. We will start from left to right. First, for the audiovisual, comprehensibility. For the web based, you can track, measure, report, and refine the content. Second, it increases motivation and interest. For the web based, ensures that wide, the widest potential audience is reached. Third, for the audiovisual, it enhances the energy level of teaching and the audience. For the web based, impress your audience with engaging rich media. Fourth, for the audiovisual, 
facilitate the understanding of audience. For the web-based, you seek to capture leads. Fifth, for the audiovisual, minimize verbalism. For the web-based, slides will have self-explanatory. Sixth, for the audiovisual, grabs the attention of audience. For the web-based, needs an internet connection. Seventh, for the audiovisual, useful and purpose purposeful teaching. For the web-based, language is simple but accessible to a global audience. Eight, for the audiovisual, increasing the cr concreteness and effectiveness of learning. For the web-based, allows you to present your animated content in a stylish way. Ninth, for the audiovisual, promoting the development of mental imagery and kindling the imagination. For the web-based, for various cases, we can create multiple workflows. Tenth, for the audiovisual, you can save your presentation on any drive and use it anytime. For the web-based, not available, especially if you don't have access to the internet. Now let's proceed to the conclusion. In conclusion, audiovisual and web-based presentations are particularly beneficial in the teaching process because they facilitate the conversion of a complicated topic into a simple understanding. Audiovisual and web-based presentations are excellent tools for capturing the audience's attention and allowing them to easily participate in the learning process. The use of audiovisual and web-based presentations allows you to deliver your content in a more appealing manner, making it more meaningful and easier for everyone to understand. For additional information, you can visit these links below. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening.